This video discusses the Access Point Details view, which is available in the Advanced User Interface for all the wireless LAN controllers running Release 8.1 or above. The Access Point Details view provides general information, performance information, in addition to various useful troubleshooting tools for the selected access point. The General section provides all the important information pertaining to the access point within a single view. This includes basic information such as the access point name, its location, IP address and MAC address in addition to other useful information such as the access point's current operating mode, AP or FlexConnect group membership, as well as its radio capabilities. Other useful inf another useful feature is the CDP LLDP neighbor of the access point allowing you to quickly determine the upstream Ethernet switch and port that the access point is currently connected to. The access point model, domain and serial number is also provided for convenience. The performance summary section provides details pertaining to the current radio configuration in addition to traffic and RF performance indicators. These values are refreshed every 60 seconds. For each radio, you can quickly determine the configured admin state, channel, channel width, and TX power in addition to the configured minimum and maximum data rates. For 5 GHz 802.11n or 802.11ac radios, the maximum configured rate will reflect the current channel width the radio is currently configured to use. The performance summary also provides the current number of clients that are associated to the access point per radio, throughput and usage, as well as RF specific performance indicators such as per channel noise, per channel utilization, per channel interference, and air quality. Some performance indicators are color coded to communicate health, allowing you to quickly identify areas of concern. For example, if the channel utilization or noise for a particular radio is abnormally high, the value will be colored red. Green would indicate normal health. So what can I use this information for? The performance summary provides useful information that can allow you to quickly determine why the performance is poor for a particular access point radio. From this view, you can instantly see the number of clients that are currently connected allowing you to identify radios with a particularly high client count, the amount of traffic that is being switched by the access point indicating load, in addition to the amount of available airtime. You can also see the amount of Wi-Fi and non-Wi-Fi interference that is impacting each particular radio. The client tab provides a client table allowing you to instantly view details pertaining to each client that is currently associated to the selected access point. For each client, the table provides the username, uptime, usage, OS information, the currently connected SSID, client capabilities, and signal quality. By default, the, cl the clients are sorted by uptime, highest to lowest, but as with the access point table, you can quickly resort the clients by clicking on the column, appropriate column header. You can also filter and disable certain columns if desired. For example, you can use the filter for the OS column to quickly filter out all the currently associated clients to only display Apple devices. Clicking on a specific client will navigate to the client detail view. This topic will be covered in a separate video. It's important to note that you can quickly navigate between client and access point detail views. If you select a client from this table, you can quickly navigate back to the access point by re-clicking on the AP name within the client details view.